from this 13 years ago, the official teaser trailer in 2009. That's where we're going to start. Uh, and we'll work our way all the way through. Um, and if anybody in chat wants to tell me anything that I should like know about without spoiling, you know, stuff or just anything to help me with the story wise of, of League of Legends, you're more than welcome. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's start off with this one here. Let's go ahead and full screen this product not yet rated. And let's get our oh, 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 I'm already messing up. Hold on. Let me get some 720p. Okay, 2009. Got to give them the benefit of the doubt. Can we make this a little bit bigger? We can make me a little bit smaller, maybe. Let's do that first. Actually, no, this is fine. We'll just keep it like this. All right. I've never seen this. I've actually never seen the teaser trailer from for League of Legends back in 2009. Wow, look at that logo. That even feels old school. Hopefully the sounds good. It looks like it is. Those graphics. Oh my. So I don't know any characters. <clears throat> Like names, I won't know. I won't be able to spot anybody in even this cinematic. Like, I I can't tell who anybody is. Dude, League of Legends has come far. League of Legends has come far. That's for sure. Oh, 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 Chargoth? Is that Chargoth? I think I know who that is. So, this is supposed to show, like, the lanes. And, like, fighting on the lanes. Oh, my, this looks very 2009. <laughs> Ash? Is that Ash? Okay, I, I will say I recognize some of them. Uh, oh my god, well, I can't forget, remember his name right now because I have played Team Fight Tactics a decent amount. Why can't I remember his name right now? The werewolf. That's pretty bad because I've used him quite a bit in Team Fight Tactics. I'm just like I haven't played it for a couple months. League of Legends has come a long way. Just from watching this cinematic, I'm like, wow. This seems super dated. I mean, it was 13 years ago. I don't know anybody. Why does that person get look like Splinter Cell goggles? Also, of course, all the breasts are like exposed. You know. Okay. Oh, the typical, like, 5v5 or whatever, like, characters fighting and jumping into each other. Cool. Honestly, this first cinematic kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, just League, uh, not League, um, World of Warcraft a little bit. Like, everything is, like, kind of like how a, a World of Warcraft trailer would be. Um, okay, next one is the League well, of Legends yet, official maybe. teaser trailer. Also, wait, wait, is it doing the same one? I don't know, it's a, it's a different one. The Minds Behind Dota All-Stars bring you their latest masterpiece. I feel like they don't do trailers like this either anymore with the, with the text like that. Heroes come in many forms. Some Annie? have vision. Annie, right? Again, I can't up the quality Some at all. Have grace. This is the best it's gonna get. Who is the Splinter Cell person? have strength. But only a few shall become... Legends. Legends. I knew it. <laughs> uh, I need 
League of Legends Clash of Fates. Clash of Fates. What is Clash of Fates? Beta coming soon? Wow, that was before even beta. Okay, so it's not just going to autoplay? Hold on. We need to make this so it auto plays. Um, is it because I'm not in the, let's see, let's go back. We need to just go to the playlist. Well, yet, oh, wait, wait, it's literally, yeah, right, right, right here. No, 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 I went too far now. I'm, I'm doing terrible at this. Uh, I feel like we watched the wrong thing there, but let's just watch this next. Yeah, we'll be able to do it from here. We just need to, uh, get out of the full screen. Or let's see, is auto play on? Let me turn auto play on. Group playlist. Auto play. How do you turn auto play on? Does anybody know? I know there's a way. Hold on. Shuffle loop playlist. Maybe auto plays on. Maybe it's on. All right, let's start. So this is the official cinematic for League of Legends. Is this what we, is this what we just watched? It is what we just watched. Okay, I see. It did it in the reverse order. So we watched this already. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. This is the official Mac client trailer. Next. So there was a trailer for it coming to, to Mac. How many people actually cared? Who is, okay, I need to know who this goggle person is. I feel like I've actually never seen them and I've seen friends play League of Legends. It's gotta be like a sniper class or something, right? Ash, I'm assuming, with the, the, yeah, the ice, bow, and arrow. Miss Fortune, I think, was maybe their, her guns there, yeah? I know a few. I don't understand the trailer. I, I'm not understanding, like, this whole cinematic. Legends now on Mac. Finally. Well, I mean, what? It, it was. Oh, this was 2013. Okay, so we went from 2009 to 2013. All right, let's go to the next. Enter the Frel George cinematic. All right. So this is like our first story cinematic, I imagine. The rest have been just trailers. War is coming to the Because I want to get. I want to get lore. The Avarosan, the largest and strongest of the tribes. Led by Ash, they seek Ash. peaceful unification. The Winter's Claw, Winter's the most claw. warlike and brutal of the tribes. Led by Sejuani, Sejuani. peace is okay. another word for weakness. Sejuani has sworn to purge this weakness. Through war, the Frelor will be purified far in the north the peaceful frost guard protect Frenjord's ancient secrets or so the world believes in truth the frost guard protect me Lysandra Lysandra while others bicker we prepare okay I've used her in TFT when the time is right we will strike they cannot withstand us so there's like tribes? And when the war is over. Yeah, that's Lissandra, okay. Our world will be reborn. So Lissandra a villain confirmed. And she was just like saying these are the, the tribe leaders, okay. Alright, alright. Alright, let's do the next one. We have a twist of fate. This one's four minutes, so this one might be kind of a big one, yeah? All right. 
Can we get 1080p? What year do we start to get 1080p? Right here. All right. For the first one, it's the Twist of Fate. Do we get the 1080p? Got it. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Twisted Fate, is that his name? I, I've used it. He's like a mage usually or something in TFT. Usually it costs like one or two. Is he, is he kind of lame or is he like kind of cool? I feel like he's kind of lame. Is this a character? It is, right? I feel like I've seen that character. I can't tell though. I, I don't see them often. There's so many characters in League of Legends now, so I don't I don't know. Who is this purple guy as well? Why is he always carrying a scroll? Who's attacking him? Who is that? That's a character, a playable character, yeah? Wait, 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 he cut the scroll? Wait, I'm confused. Did he cut the scroll? Or did it go through the scroll? Katarina, I remember her, right? I think that's right. Is that, oh, that's the one normal, like, paladin looking guy. Uh, to start with a G, I feel like I'm right. I don't know the name. Did she teleport? Oh, yeah, she's an assassin usually on TFT. So far, it's just like them. It's just people fighting each other, but I'm not getting like any lore as to why. Who saved her? Who is that? There's a sword for an arm. A massive blade. He looks like he's from like Soul Calibur or something. I don't think I've ever seen him. Oh, he did the Lord of the Rings, pulled in the sword in more. Annie? Right? She looks a lot better from from the 2009 cinematic already. So she summons like this crazy teddy bear. That's, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I know about her. Wait, where did these serpent hydra heads come from? What the? Is that from him? Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. <coughs> what is that? Oh, is that like a boss on the battlefield kind of deal? Is that what it is? Okay. So my guess is this was like a trailer for them introducing like new characters. That's my guess. And we te technically haven't gotten to like the, the story or anything. All right, we have a road to the cup t world championship 2013. So like from 2000, so when did the game actually release? I know they were doing, there was teaser trailers there that we were watching from 2009. When did league actually come out? And then when did we, so we first got like a big tournament in 2013. Oh, it's it's um, anime style. 
Oh, there's Team Fanatic, right? I don't know what some of the. Okay. And Team Dignitas. Okay. Now, I know they do songs and stuff for the worlds. Uh, they, there's like a brand new song and everything. I've listened to a few of them, I enjoy them. Are we getting a song in 2013? Or is this just like an anime battle? Okay, you cannot you cannot put me in a trailer to have little purple arms like that. Scyther arms. I'd rather have that than what that guy got. Okay. What is that? Throwing quarters at you. Well, not, okay, yeah. Don't don't put me in animation with weird arms like that. What is he do what is he doing? I'm assuming this has to do with their, like, their mains, right? What the mains do for these uh, pro players. Okay, he, okay. I mean, this is pretty cool in general. Like back in 2013 to have like an animation like this for you. Is this Twisted Fate? Was Twisted Fate like actually used back then or? I guess my question is, What's the meta characters in 2022? We're watching this in December of 2022, actually, so I know that meta changes. Wait, there was a team called... Oh my god. Okay. Who's this? Oh, it's the the trophy. You guys all have to fight for it. There's probably somebody watching right now that can probably name all these pro players, yeah? I have zero idea. Oh, I know that person. That's the, the, it, it's a robot that starts with B. Don't remember their name. I recognize that ability. Again, only knowledge I have is from TFT, so. Okay, season three, world final, October 4 of 2013. All right, let's go to the next one. Next one we have Get Jinxed music video, okay. I vaguely have probably heard this song, um, or I have heard the song. I don't think I've ever watched the music video. And does it say this came out nine years ago? It has 121 million views, okay. All right, let's check it out. Now, okay, my knowledge of Jinx, guys, is I have watched the Arcane show. So I, I know kind of like her, her story. And I know how she is used in TFT. I don't really know how she's used in actual League of Legends, League of Legends, though. Like she's very cool in um, in Arcane. Now is Jinx Jinx was she like an original character or did she come like in the first couple years? Obviously by 2013 she's out. And she must have been popular enough to make a music video for her. I know everybody likes to compare her to uh, Harley Quinn, but I think she's unique from Harley Quinn, especially if you watch Arcane. Rhino, Jinx was here. Blowing everything up, huh? He 
leave or I can't see what it says. So, like, story-wise, is she actually trying to accomplish anything in this cinematic? Or is she just literally, like, causing chaos and wanting to just destroy? Like, is she fighting a certain enemy here? What's the name of her rocket? I don't know. Shark? Shark? Sharky? Something? I don't know. I know the significance of the monkeys from Arcane as well. Awesome. 2013 as well for that music video. All right. Next we have, this is only 50 seconds. It says Velka's first contact, new champion teaser. So this is just for a new character. Velka's? I've never, like, I've never heard of Velka's. I don't think they've been in TFT that I can recall. All right. I'm going to turn the volume up just that. Maybe if I see him. We're talking about humans, I imagine. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next one is... Yeah, see, it's going to go backwards. I need it to go the other direction. All right, Braum, Trials of the Portal. I do know Braum. Big boy, big shield. I do know Braum. What is this? Trials of the Poro. New champion teaser. Okay, so Braum was added in later. He's not an original character. I actually thought Braum was, like, one of the first. I've seen those. Those are called Poros. Um, I knew Braum was, I, I, I mean, I, I assume Braum was an original character only because of the fact that I'd like seen him and heard about him. Is that a cinnamon roll? Who is trying to attack this poor, or oh, is by accident? They're not actually trying to, get it, hurry. Hurry up, get it. Be careful. Okay, maybe it's not worth it. 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 Not worth it. Get out of there. Uh... Rob's gonna shield it. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> Next time you get my back. Huh? <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Cool. Hold on. What is this Legend of the Poor Oak King? See, I want to get to those, but we're just going to watch all of this stuff in order. I don't want to go jumping around. All right, this next one seems like it's a big one. A New Dawn cinematic League of Legends. Okay, here we go. We have 124 videos to get through, guys, so strap in. Ari. Okay, I do know another. That's Ari. Is that Leona? I feel like that's Leona, possibly. Okay, Katarina, we know. I'm saying these names, and I'm probably just wrong on all of them. That has to be Ari. That looks like early, early version of Ari, because I feel like she doesn't look like that anymore. She's Leona just running through, okay. Who's that? No idea. Just looks like a normal dude with a shield. Oh, I know him. I don't know his name. Nice. Okay, that was pretty cool. Oh, is she... What? Blood? She's dead? What? Wait, what? Okay, I didn't expect that. 
Ooh. Not dead. Oh, she's pissed. Ari? Ari's gonna go crazy, huh? What's her ult in TFT? I don't actually recall. She's gonna leave them to a trap now. Is that the play? I'm turning down just as bad. Whips? Who's this? I have no idea who that is. Wait, what? Smoke grenade? Is this? Oh, that's our team. I don't know anybody. I don't know anybody. <laughs> I don't know anybody. Oh, I might know him. Cinematic's pretty cool. I like this. I like this one uh, so far the best, I think. Oh, I do know her because I know that ability in TFT. I just can't think of her name. Oh, she got whooped. He reminds me of a Johnny from uh, Magic the Gathering. She said, woo. <laughs> oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, he caught it. Did she do her little teleport thing? I was going to say. Oh. She's gone. What is that? Wait, what is that? What the? Look like an anchor? Is there a character with an anchor? Who is this with an anchor? What? What? Is, what? She's a big robot. Is he like neutral? Is he on, whose team is he on? Not theirs, not Ari's team. Or is this another like neutral enemy that would be on the battlefield? Whoa, that anchor is cool though. Does this say end of the line? Oh, he tapped it against like the tree. Oh, he had like a shield too. Okay. So who's left? Ari and maybe the person that killed Leona or whatever. She's gonna get revenge, or I don't know. That's my assumption. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. You gotta get your revenge here, Ari. What are you gonna do? Huh? Oh, Leona's still alive. She did a thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I was gonna say, okay. Go throw him off the cliff. Be his ass. Okay, that's cool. Oh, she's pretty badass. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I already know there's a lot of love for Ari. I can see definitely from that cinematic also why. I liked Leona. I'm saying it's Leona. I don't know if it's Leona. But uh, yeah, hype for Leona too. I like her. And the cat dude. And the and the other dude that was on Ari's team with the grenade launcher. So like, what is that? Am I like, you know what I mean? Like I need some more, I know we're very early. We got 120 more videos guys, okay? 
120 more videos. I don't know, like, what was that thing that they were looking at? I want to know any sort of lore that we can get. All right, so this is Sharima. So the next couple ones are Sharima. Descent into the tomb cinematic. Okay, is that maybe what it is? Is that what they were looking at? Was that Sharima? It's a tomb? Why are they going here? The tragic fall of Sharima was nothing. Sharima. Compared to the tragedy of its rise from the grave. In a market on the edge of the desert, a stranger appears. Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia. A noble woman of Noxus, looking to hire a guide to take her to the fabled lost city. Okay. But not oh, it's a lost any city. Guide. She hires the owner of a legendary ancient blade, the mercenary, called Sivir. Sivir. That's Sivir a character. gathers her band of right? cell swords, and they set out into the desert to find the buried bones of Sharima. Okay. Five days beneath the broiling sun, a scout spots towers jutting from the dunes, and a stairway See, this is the lore I want. leading underground. They climb down into the darkness. Okay. Why are they going Ancient here, though? What does she want? Gleam in the torchlight. Okay, there's a bunch of treasure. Sivir is astonished at the grandeur of the ruins. So Sivir and who? Cassiopeia, head. right? Only to stumble into traps and be eviscerated. Rip. All of them? Or is Sivir? Sivir is stunned okay. with horror. But Cassiopeia does not flinch. She sees only the statue of a huge serpent okay. silently guarding the door to the tomb of the emperors. The emperors. Tomb of the emperors. She smiles. Why? Is a key. Cassiopeia betrays Sivir. Yo, okay. She picks up Sivir's blade. Puts oh, Sivir's blade the was the key. The Guardian's curse is triggered. The stone serpent comes alive. It pins Cassiopeia in its jaws. Okay, that's what you get. I mean, Venom sears her flesh. Yeah. Like oh, does she become like Medusa? That's what that was like. Renekton emerges. Renekton. Loved and locked away, twisted beyond insanity. Renekton. Followed by Zareth, the architect of his torment. So all of these like things are coming out. It's complete. All of these like uh, gods or guardians or something. Sivir drags herself. Sivir still alive? Lifeblood flooding from her wound. And then. So everybody died, and they opened the door for no reason. Behold, Sharima's legacy. Hmm. Okay. I liked that mostly because I got story. I like that because I got story. I see. See, there's something being blocked here. That looks like there's like some gameplay. But I like it because I got story. Discover Sharima's fall. So the next one is Sharima, Rise of the Ascended. So Descent into the Tomb and then Rise of the Ascended. Were those the people that were released? Zareth and, and Renekton? I'm curious. As Sivir lies betrayed and bleeding, something okay, it's continuing. incredible curse. Oh, 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 okay. For those she does not know it, Sivir is the last in the bloodline. Last in the bloodline of Azir. Lost Emperor. And okay. as her blood soaks into the ancient sands, a deep magic sparks to life. Does it bring her back? Resurrection. Yep. First Azir's mind. Oh, resurrection of Azir. Snatched back from oblivion to be reborn. Okay. So it was her blood that brought it back brought him back. Then he sees. Face, he sees himself in this daughter of Sharima. In that moment, okay. he has no thought of empires or rituals. He only knows she needs. He's gonna save her. He must take her to the Oasis awesome. of the Dawn. Oasis of the, the Dawn, mother of the life. Mother of Life. Is this gonna be a, another character? 
He smells the waters, smells of life. He praises in time. He does not dream that he, Shirima's greatest. Is Sivir gonna come back like stronger, at maybe? Last earn his ascension and bring back his broken city. He dares not dream that if he can save her, Azir can save them all. Okay. Oh? Is that Sivir? 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 I don't think I've seen her. I recognize the name, but I don't think I've seen her. Is this the broken city bring brought back? Is that Azir? Or no, no, no. Is that... That looks like a Cassiopeia. With the, with the hair? Or no. No, that looks like Azir, I guess. I don't know. Right. So what is happening? Oh. He's got like a, a bird mask. That's severe. Looks like Wonder Woman. I feel like I've seen that bird mask before. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe I've seen her weapon. I think I've seen her weapon. So he resurrects her, Azir resurrects her, and brings back Sharima. And an army? Somehow? Because he's just got crazy powers? Arison season two soon, right? Wait, 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 what does this mean? So. Oh, Arcane season two, right? Um, soon? I have no idea. So I'm rewatching, or I'm not rewatching. I'm watching literally League of Legends cinematics for the very first time. I know nothing about the world. I never played League of Legends growing up. I did watch Arcane. Arcane was fantastic, dude. Also, I hope you had a good uh, holiday synergy. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing this for YouTube, essentially. I'm going to be uploading this later uh, with my reaction and everything. I'm trying to get some more lore of League of Legends. I loved Arcane. Arcane was fantastic. The writing in that show is so, so good. Um, but I want to get more lore about League of Legends. I have 121 more videos to go. Okay, so technically this next one is a music video called Warriors. And I believe I've watched it. I've listened to the song. I've used it as like a stream intro before or something. Uh, so this was Worlds 2014. So did Worlds 2013... I almost said 23. Did Worlds 2013 not have like a, a song made for the for the tournament? Was 2014 like the first year? Or what? Let's go ahead and start off with this. Oh, we have an ad for this one. Sorry, everybody. Star Citizen, not gonna play it. Um, all right, we're gonna react to Warriors featuring Imagine Dragons. Again, I've heard this song before. I think I've watched the video. Let me know if I know any, if I'm calling any of the characters. <clears throat>
Wait, what are they doing? They're just like throwing their headsets off. So at this point, League of Legends has been out like four or five years when this came out. And this is the first world, or second world, 2014. I mean, this is probably pretty hype when this came out. Uh, I know there's usually pretty, uh, like a lot of hype around the, the New World song each year. And music video, I imagine. I know Valorant does that now as well. So did Worlds look like this too? I know it was like Worlds is very popular. I've seen like a little bit of like the stadiums before. I don't know what year it was, but like it was it was packed. Okay, that was cool. I mean, there was no lore thing about League of Legends, but I mean, that was probably pretty hype at the time to have like a big um, you know, rock band in Imagine Dragons doing a song for a, a video game, you know what I mean? Um, okay, the harrowing tales of the black mist. Okay, this is exciting. I like lore. I need some lore here. All we've gotten so far is Sharuma and Severe and like Azir and Cassiopeia and like the, the city being reborn or something. Um, the harrowing tales of the black mist. Many are the grim tales told of the shadow isles. Shadow isles, and the black okay. mist the trout. While all good folk shun this cursed land, sometimes its darkness comes. The nails, though. For you, the black mist ebbs and flows like the tide. Yet now and then, on a night much like tonight, it reaches far across the sea, searching, seeking, killing. Oh, this is cool. This time is known as the Harrowing. The Harrowing, okay. During the Harrowing, the spirits of the Shadow Isles go forth within the I feel the like I've heard of like the Shadow Isles expansion maybe for League. I have no idea. What is that? Centaur? The ghost, uh, spectral centaur? Is this a character in the game? I don't think so. So is this a just a normal guy? Or this is yeah. This is just giving us like the lore of the Shadow Isles themselves. Okay. You're cursed, condemned to haunt the Black Mist forevermore. So like, okay, does League even have? Like, I know League has like several different maps. I mean, they're all like basically designed the same. It's just like. Well, what were you expecting? Right now, Looks a little different, but comes for you. is this just like a thing for the maps and characters, or what is this? Prepare yourselves, friends. The harrowing is here. Yeah, this I think is just like yeah, yeah. yeah. So with these like uh, this, so this is a League of Legends expansion, is my in my guess. So this was 2014, and with it does like new characters and stuff come. Yeah, there's like Callista. I'm assuming it looks like Callista came from this. Oh, this is the next trailer. So Callista, the pledge, new champion teaser. Okay. Oh, there's a couple of champion teasers coming up ahead. Okay. All right. Callista. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to think of. I've seen her in like TFT or anything else. How could you betray us like this? I don't think I have. Because I could. Because I wanted to. It ain't about the money. <laughs> it ain't all about the money. It's on. With my dying breath, I offer my soul to thee. Make Lots of pixels. Vengeance. I can't see anything. I'm watching on 1080p. <laughs> Is that Callista? Yeah. We are the sphere of vengeance. 
Oh, she looks badass. Not a chance. She looks really cool, actually. I like her. Oh, is she supposed to be good, though? She's like saying innocent blood. Does she have like fairy wings? There's a lot of League videos. You'll be here all night. Yeah, well, there's 120 videos. This is the official playlist made by League of Legends. Um, I'm not going to be doing it all tonight. We're going to do this over a few days. Okay, so that was a new champion teaser. That looks cool. Like, I would play Callista. She seemed cool. Oh, let's not let it go to the next video because it always goes backwards. Um, yeah, we have 100 and, uh, 118 videos left. This is the official playlist made by League of Legends on YouTube. There was another playlist that I could have used, but I was like, I should probably just use the one that League of Legends has uploaded. All right, let's do Rek'Sai, the Terror Beneath. New champion. Okay, I know Rek'Sai, only from TFT. He's a weird purple creature thing. That's all I know. This one's about two minutes. Yeah, I'm probably going to stop. Um, this will be part one of my reactions to League of Legends uh, cinematics. We'll probably be stopping here with just a few more. And then we'll do uh, part two, probably part three. There's going to be lots of parts because this is a lot of videos. Okay, we're getting like a, a anime style, cartoon style. So far, the lore is a little sporadic. Like, I, I'm not really getting anything, but I get it. There's, like, lots and lots of characters, so we can't really do that. Like, a cohesive story, I feel like. Maybe it'll get a little bit more cohesive later down the line. So we have two people traveling through the desert. Is that Rek'Sai? That's Rek'Sai, right? I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, so forgive me. Yeah, that looks like that looks like him. Okay. He's a pretty good TFT unit. Depending on the season. Is this, what is this? Is that a place that I know? Is that Sharima? It's probably not Sharima. Yeah, thanks, Synergy. I appreciate that, man. You don't have to, but thank you, thank you. Cool. All right, that was Rek'Sai. Okay, The Curse of the Sad Mummy, a Moo Moo music video? I have never heard this. It's a music video? I don't think, does anybody care about this? Because I've never heard anybody be like, you got to listen to The Curse of the Sad Mummy. But, all right. Wait, is there a mummy League of Legends character? Have I seen this character? A Moo Moo? So we got like a lot of desert scenario, like, uh, or settings here for like 2014, it looks like. Okay, the, the sad mummy is a little cute. I think I've seen a Moo Moo. I have no idea if a Moo Moo is a playable character. <clears throat> I think the only reason I've seen a Moo Moo is because I've had like an a, a emoticon or something in TFT for it. Angry child in Valoran has heard the tale before about the cursed mummy boy. Okay, I've never heard this. Hey, cool Turner. Okay, I can see why. I mean, this isn't like a hype song, so this is probably why I haven't heard of this one. People probably just talk about the hype songs for League of Legends a little bit more than this. I mean, the art style and everything's cool. I think this is still 2014 time for this music video. We'll have to see. It shows the, the year at the end. I need to pay attention because this is lore. So I'm assuming it's lore. 
for a moo at least. So is he just alone? <clears throat> Can he like travel worlds? Sad. Oh, this is gonna be the lore of a Mumu, of like his character, like his, his, like him being. Is he like evil? Whoa! Why is this so sad? This is so sad. Oh. This is really cool. I'm liking this one. This is like crazy. Taller in the game, though he's not just a little guy, is he? The moment when the Mumu realized what he had done. Oh no, he destroyed the town. For him, for them, the evil curse had Dude, this is so sad. Anger and he is a little guy. Okay. I guess I've never seen him. And caused the wicked tantrum that he never could control. Interesting. I've never seen him in TFT. <clears throat> Again, my knowledge comes from mostly TFT, Arcane, and that's it. Yo, that was that was sad. I mean, I really liked it though. Okay, so this was. I'm assuming this was also 2014. I didn't get a year. It's because all the recommendations come from 2014. I have to pause this because it keeps going in the opposite direction. Okay, let's watch DJ Sona Ultimate Concert Skins trailer, and then we'll watch. Um, We'll watch all of them up to Echo. I know Echo. Um, this one is an Ultimate Concert Skins trailer. So let's start off with this. And then we'll do the Bard Mountain New Champion teaser. And then we'll do the Echo teaser as well. Okay, this is pretty cool. Whatever this is. <clears throat> Is that a is that a character? A playable character right there? DJ wait, DJ Sona. That's a character. Wait, is Sona Sona's a character? I'm assuming DJ Sona is like a skin. Okay, this goes hard. What is this? I like this. I like some EDM for sure. You guys know this. Okay, we're going, we're slowing it down to some house music. If that's a skin, I like the skin. I'm, I'm a Sona fan now. <laughs> DJ Sona's ultimate skin music kinetic. Okay. DJ Sona available now. Is the character actually called DJ Sona or are they just called Sona? Okay, so now we're getting starting to get like some recommendations for 2015. I feel like, okay, so there was a big like jump. So the first thing we watched was from 2009 and then like all of a sudden the third video was 2013. So was there like not much between 2009 and 2013 or when did League of Legends come out? Like, yeah, maybe, maybe that's what's messing with me. 
All right, let's watch the next thing. We have Bard Mountain. New champion teaser. So is there a character called Bard in League of Legends? I, I don't know. Wait, I do know that. Because that's a TFT character that would always cost five. Anytime it's been in the game, at least, I think. Okay, so Bard is a character. Okay, we got another cartoon. I think I'm right. Sona is the character. DJ Sona is the skin. Okay, that's why I was like, DJ Sona sounds like a weird character name. I'm <laughs> like, it's got to just be Sona, right? Cool trainer, we should learn League of Legends together. <laughs> no, never mind. We just get frustrated. <laughs> I, I've already, I've done it before. I've tried. <laughs> okay. We're getting something cool here. That would be the ultimate friendship test. I think that would just be the ultimate us being bad at a video game <laughs> and trying our best to have fun. <laughs> I guess that's a, probably a friendship test. You're right. Is that a character I recognize? I, I, see, this is there's too many characters. Nothing's cohesive. I have no idea what's happening. That's Bard. Okay. I've recognized just them being like that. That's Bard, I assume. I don't remember what Bard can do on TFT. I don't remember like their ultimate or anything like that. Bard seems cool. Okay. Yeah, Bard seems real cool. What's that little thing on his shoulder? I do like like the cartoon. Um, cinematics that they have i wish i kind of wish overwatch had a little uh, like some of these i think overwatch has like one what is happening lift the towers or something with the yeah Teleported them out of there. What is happening though? I don't understand. Like when the when these cinematics came out, did people understand them or were they also just as confused as me? That was a champion trailer. Like that was Bard coming out into the game. And like I Is there anything am I supposed to know anything and with that cinematic or like I'm confused okay so the last one we're gonna watch today is gonna be echo seconds so echo I know from TFT he's also in the arcane show um there, he in TFT he has like a time thing he slows down time I think in arcane he does something with time um yeah like he's able to just like slow down time and stuff so, yeah, that's it. That's all I know. Has the Riot logo changed or is it still the same? It's still the same, right? Then they wish for more. Want more hours in their days? More days in their years? True. More years in their lives? True. Because if they had all that extra time, they could fix any mistake. I don't need hours or days or years. I only need seconds. See, this is going to be cool because it goes with Arcane. So he has a little rewind ability. Is that what he can do in actual League of Legends? Like, 
for gameplay. I wonder. Is he kind of like Tracer? Or like a melee version of Tracer? I'm assuming this is also a playable League character. I have no idea. How many times does he get to rewind? Here's the thing about time. If you can't make the most out of any given moment, you don't deserve a single extra second. See, that was a really cool champion teaser. I like that one. That's probably why Echo is like in Arcane. He's probably a pretty popular character, like like uh with, with League of Legends people or something, but cool i don't know how popular like there's so many characters in league of legends that i feel like every character probably has people that play them or i mean i have no idea i don't know how many characters are in league of legends right now i just know echo is probably one of the more popular ones because i've heard of them and stuff um i wonder if they were meant to be kind of vague and if people would do a lot of theory crafting trying to analyze the videos yeah i mean i don't have any league of legends people in here i think synergy may have played i have no idea but i do like this is why I'm reacting to this kind of stuff because I want people to tell me, like, you know, what people thought when these kinds of trailers and teasers came out. Because I have no idea. Like, did people make up their own theories about the characters? Was there, like, is there actual, like, lore that I can read about, maybe, or something? I have no idea. Uh, but cool. That'll be the first part of our reaction to the League of Legends cinematics. I'm going to do more. Um, I'm not going to do more today. We're going to do more on another day, probably tomorrow. Uh, and I'll remember that I have Tom Kench next. I know Tom Kench from TFT. He eats people. That's it. All right, we got like a hundred more videos to go. I feel like I'm um, hopefully this, you know, hopefully this is everything because I just see there was another playlist that had like 200 videos, but I'm assuming the other playlist had like random little like 30 second or 40 second like teasers or something that maybe aren't really worth. Um, so the official League of Legends playlist is good.